côté. Okay, so the banana story. I got a banana story. My hair's probably fucked up. I just got out of the jacuzzi. So anyway, I bought these bananas. I bought these bananas today. And I bought them like where I work. So I go up to the little banana stand where they sit, right? Yes. Uh, yes, okay. you're on it. Alright, so I go up to you know, the little thing and I pick them up and go to put them in. And the guy that works in produce, he's like, you don't want those. They have a spot on them. And I went, well, I guess you're right. And I put them back. So I pick up another thing. And he's like, you don't want those. They've got a spot on them, too. <laughs> okay, where's the fucking spot, man? And I said, you know, honestly, I've never examined my bananas before. I just picked them up and go, I have honestly never, unless, of course, they're gross and mushy, right? So anyway, he goes, no, let me hook you up. And he's looking, and he's going, spots, no, you don't want that. That's a bruise, blah. I'm sitting there thinking, what the fuck? There's an analysis of bananas, right? So he takes me to the back room where there's cases of bananas that have just arrived. And I'm like, oh, pick me bananas, pristine bananas. And he did. So this is what he picked me. He's like, yes, these will be great. <laughs> <laughs> and it was this big, long 10-minute thing about bananas that I've never in my life before thought about. Because I literally pick the bananas and go. As long as they're not mushy, brown, and gross. Or too, too green. So then, I was telling my husband the banana story, and of course he's like, Yo, I got a banana story for you! Because that's my husband. <laughs> that's me. <laughs> Cut. Cut.